Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I completed these cute short Marley twists, girl, just keep on watching. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. You got the swag, so she got the shot. The hair I'm using is Janet Collection's 3x Caribbean braid in the color 4. And I also have it in the 80 inch, which I actually am only going to be using two packs of hair because I just wanted to save money and I'll also be cutting the hair as well. Now, when I install these Molly twists, I'm actually going to separate and cut the hair three times. So where you see that we're band out right now, I'm going to cut it one time. And after that, I'm actually going to cut it again also to make it even shorter. To keep my hair moisturized, I'm actually using um, a shea butter that I created myself because that's the only thing that I can actually find that actually keeps my hair moisturized. So I created my own shea butter mixed with some oils and I'll just be using that to keep you know moisture inside my hair. All right, let's get to start some twists. So I'm actually using three pieces of Marley hair because I want them kind of chunky. And one thing you want to make sure is to stagger the ends, you know, pull apart the hair to make it a little bit more fluffy and also stagger the ends. So that way it won't be so blunt at the end when you're twisting and it won't unravel also. Now the reason you know I wanted to create short Marley twists is because it's a little bit easier you know to wake up and just go compared to actually having long twists and taking a little bit longer to do and trying to stuff all that hair instead of a shower cap so short twists just seemed the way to go plus it just seemed like a little bit more cute for the winter or fall or whatever yeah it's fall. <laughs> Also, I have no method to parting my hair. I just, you know, take my finger, run it across my hair and part it. I'm not really into those straight parts and triangle parts, you know, I'm just, part your hair girl and go. <laughs> Once again, I'm using the invisible twist method. So you'll take one piece of hair, turn it counterclockwise and take the other piece and turn it clockwise. Um, I believe with my right hand, I turn counterclockwise and the left hand is clockwise. And you'll just take those pieces and just twist and cross over. So you're twisting and cross over. Now one thing I noticed when it came to twisting my hair is it actually kept unraveling. So what I did was instead of actually dipping it in hot water at the end, I'm just going to take a lighter and burn my ends. Um, this actually helped keep my hair more secure and, and, and of course it didn't unravel. Damn, I just started on that part. <laughs> but I definitely recommend burning the hair if you're going to do short twists. Okay, girl, I see you. These are definitely coming out cute so far. Uh -huh. All right, so the twists are all done. See how cute these are? This is really cute and short and a little stiff but you know they'll definitely get unstiff over time <laughs> so now we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of jewelry in and just keep it going girl Thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.